We're almost halfway through December, which means Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus owners are that much closer to getting the final version of Android Oreo. Testing still needs to be done, though, which is why Samsung started rolling out the fourth beta build of Oreo to its pair of flagships. As was the theme with the third Oreo beta, the fourth Oreo beta is all about bug fixing. That is why the changelog is rather extensive, though it includes things like a fix for the excessive battery consumption bug, syncing errors with Samsung Cloud, and the device rebooting while idle. Devices would also randomly vibrate at times, something that has been fixed with the fourth Oreo beta. The changelog also mentions a new Google security patch, so we can assume that the update includes the December security patch. Finally, the fourth Oreo beta includes improved Bluetooth stability. You can check out the rest of the fixes and improvements down below. GSM Arena According to Samabil, which spotted the fourth Oreo beta, there are reports of devices prompting people to wipe the devices once they install the update. You can somewhat circumvent this by backing up your data before installing and not installing the update at all. Also unclear is when the fourth Oreo beta will make its way elsewhere. The update, which weighs in at 850 megabytes, is being pushed out to Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus beta testers in the UK, though it should NT be long before it heads to the US. Update, December 15th on leaks followed up on his Galaxy S9 renders with new media allegedly showing the larger Galaxy S9 Plus. The renders, published by My Smart Price, show remarkable similarities with the Galaxy S8 Plus, confirming, finally, we also don't know when Samsung will release the final version of Oreo for both devices. According to the UK beta team, we could see the update either during the end of January or early February. For now, folks in the UK will need to go to settings and manually check for updates to install the fourth Oreo beta. Well keep an eye out for when the updates becomes available in the US and what changes, if any, are made.